वाइग्रो जी का खासा वाइग्रो जी के फटे गुड मॉर्निंग Good morning. Good morning to everyone watching. Um, you're joining us again this morning, um, bright and early. Lovely sunshine out there, isn't there? Yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching these breakfast shows. We are getting really good feedback, so please keep that coming. The email address is info at seekchannel.tv and I will respond to the emails that you have already sent. But if you would like to come on to these shows, just simply email me as well and we can arrange that. Today you're joining me in the studio with Talvin again. Yeah. So how are you? How are you feeling this morning? I'm fine. Tired? Yeah. <laughs> I am. Okay. So I hope you've been enjoying the show so far. We've been discussing so much, haven't we? We've yeah. read stories. Talvin has kindly read so many stories. Um, recently, we've read about Guru Nanak Dev Ji and Guru Angad Dev Ji. Today, we'll be um, discussing the next Guru. Okay? Do you know the next Guru? Anybody? Mm. No. No. But before we do that, let's do some Mool Mantar and um, Simran again. So this morning I want Talvin to do all on his own, um, but you can follow after me. So just do Simran for this morning. So just okay. do Simran for about a couple of minutes. Okay. So I'll do the Mool Mantar all. And just Simran. Okay. Satnam. Vahe Guru. Vahe Guru. Vahe Guru. Vahe Guru. Vahe Guru. Satnam. Vahe Guru. Vahe Guru. Vahe Guru. Satnam. Yep. Well done. So, um, excellent. I hope everyone at home is doing that as well. So I'm going to move on for. I'm going to crack on with the show today. Um, today we are talking about our third Guruji. But before we do that, I want you to repeat after me, okay? Everyone at home. So we're going to start from, we've done two Gurujis so far, Guru Nanak Dev Ji and Guru Angad Dev Ji. And today it's all about Guru Amar Das Ji. So, follow after me, okay? So we're going to say Tan Tan. Tan Tan. Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Guru Nanak Dev Ji. And again, Tan Tan Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Tan Tan Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Tan Tan Guru Angad Dev Ji. Tan Tan Guru Angad Dev Ji. Tan Tan Guru Amar Das Ji. Tan Tan Guru Amar Das Ji. Thank you. Now, Guru Amar Das Ji was a uh, which Guru Ji? Um, a third. Third Guru Ji. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So, this Guru Ji was after Guru Angad Dev Ji. Um, this Guru Ji was really quite old, okay? Yeah. Um, yeah. But had so much knowledge and again was so humble as well. Um, coming back to the point of being humble, it brings to mind a Saki which I know. Um, Imagine you're wearing some really nice clothes and I'm telling and I tell you to pick up a sack which is full of mud. Would you do that? Uh not really because you might get your clothes dirty. Yeah, you will get you will be worried and think, Oh, I don't want to pick that up, my clothes will get dirty. But a, a sake comes to mind actually, um, about being humble and honest and polite is a sake of um, Guru Nanak Dev Ji's time. Guru Nanak Dev Ji was walking down with his two sons and Following them was by the second Guruji, Guru Angad Dev Ji. Now, they were walking and Guru Angad Dev Ji wore this brand new, fantastic new robe. It was shiny and really new. He, had, he, he went through so much effort to get this robe sewn. He was walking and Guru Nanak Dev Ji, they walked up to a village, a field, and Guru Nanak Dev Ji saw this huge pile of mud, um, which had to be, it was a sack full of mud, and that had to be collected and taken to the village because they were building a new village. So, what do you think Guru Nanak Dev Ji said? Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, who can pick this up? I want someone to pick this up and take it to the village. Guru Nanak Dev Ji first told his two sons. His two sons, they, they did exactly what we'd, th we'd do. He, they, they, they said, no, I'm not doing this. I don't want to pick up a sack of mud and get all my clothes dirty. How do you think Guru Nanak Dev Ji felt? A bit like sad. Like, Very yeah. sad, a bit sad and a bit surprised, perhaps, but Guru Nanak Dev Ji was the knower of everything. And he, this was a test. Guruji always puts um, people into tests to, just to see the real meaning of, let's see who's true and who's not. So, this was a test. Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, let's see who will come and pick up this sack. Who do you think did pick up the sack? If there's two Guru Nanak Dev Ji's two sons, and then there's Guru Angad Dev Ji, who's a guru, who do you think actually went through all that? Um, guru. Guruji. Guru yeah. Angad Dev Ji. So the second Guru. Why? Because he was a true, honest and humble Sikh of the Guru. So Guru Angad Dev Ji 
said, no, don't worry, Guruji, I'll do it. Straight away, he went for the opportunity. Why? He just said, Sat Bhattan, which means, yes, I would do it. So whatever you say is true. Sat Bhattan means that. So Guru Angad Dev Ji wore this fantastic robe. His heart felt a bit upset that, OK, although it's a new robe and I wanted to impress Guruji and look the best, I won't be able to. Um, you know, I won't, my clothes will get ruined. But the moral here is Guru Angad Dev Ji straight away, without any, without any delay, he said, I'll lift up this sack and take it. So, Guru Angad Dev Ji lifted the sack up of, of mud yeah. and he walked to the village which was being built. And guess, you will not believe what happened when he got to this village. When they got, once they got there, there was mud and Guru Nanak Dev Ji's sons were actually laughing that, ha ha, look at, you know, look what's happened. He came to impress his new outfit, but look at, look what it's turned into. And when they got to this village, Guru Nanak Dev Ji just looked at by, uh, Guru, sorry, Guru Angad Dev Ji, looked at him and smiled. And then, do you, can you imagine, do you think, do you know what can happen next if it's a miracle? A what? miracle happened. Guru Angad Dev Ji's clothes that were full of mud, that mud transformed into saffron. You know the red saffron that you can buy? It's very expensive. And saffron in those days, even today, it's seen as a really, um, it's precious. It's, it's, it's really rare to have um, saffron. It's really expensive. Um, how would you describe saffron? It's, it's really like... You um, put it in milk as well. Yeah. It, it was like equivalence to gold, let's say. Yeah. And back in that day, it was. It was very, very precious. So... That mud on his clothes transformed into saffron. Can you believe yeah, that? Yeah. So the moral of that story is, for your guru, do anything with an open and honest heart. Yep. Because yeah. Guruji has straight away taught, um, taught us that no matter what you do, if you do it straight away for your guru, the guru will listen. Guruji will never put you in an awkward situation. Um, so Guru Nanak Dev Ji, therefore, transformed that mud into saffron. And Guru Nanak Dev Ji's sons were amazed and they were really um, embarrassed that, oh God, what's happened here? You know, they wanted mud and they wanted to see Guru Angad Dev Ji a bit humiliated, like, ha ha, let's bully you. Yeah. But that didn't happen. So that just shows how kind Guru Angad Dev Ji was, okay? And that's how we should be. So if your parents, for example, tell you to do something, yeah. do it straight away. Yeah. Be nice. Um, any other message for everyone watching? Uh, just like, have a nice day. Have a yeah. lovely day. So we've talked about three, we've talked about Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Guru Angad Dev Ji, and we've just spoke about Guru Amar Das, who was our third guru. Now, I'm going to set a little task for you guys all at home. I want you to research Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Guru Angad Dev Ji, and Guru Amar Das Ji, and create a poster, okay? Create a poster and send it in, and I will be showing it onto the shows, um, onto the next show that we have. So have a little fact file of their lives, perhaps a sucky on there, and anything that you feel inspired about of their lives so far. But that's it for this morning. Yeah. Um, we hope you have a nice day again at school. Keep watching the breakfast shows, um, and thank you, Talvin, for coming yeah, on. Yeah. Thank you very much. Bye, Guruji Ka Khasa. Bye, Guruji Ki Fateh.